Rachel Cooper is a health writer and publisher of patient education on topics such as strabismus, neural rehabilitation, and vision therapy. Ms. Cooper is author and designer of the edutainment science book, Magic Eye, How to See 3D, and the creator of the Optometrist Network. Rachel publishes many advertising-free patient education websites, such as strabismus.org, lazyeye.org, and visiontherapy.org. So strabismus is the medical term for a visual condition where the two eyes are not aiming at the same visual target or they're not pointing at the same location in space. So the way that might look to the outside observer is they may notice that the, they're looking at the person and one eye looks like it's turned or de it's deviating and it looks like it's one eye's looking at one thing and one eye's looking at another thing. So a person who has strabismus is not seeing with both eyes simultaneously at all times. A person with strabismus has a binocular vision impairment and that means that normal vision is that it's, it's binocular. We are getting these two views coming into our brain that are sort of at different, slightly different angles and when those two images come into our brain they're merged in our brain into one three-dimensional image. So the person with strabismus is really missing out on the depth perception and the 3D vision and this actually affects a lot of things because the purpose of depth perception is to help you know where you are located in space in relationship to everything else. So it affects how you move through space, how you judge distances, how you even pour water into a glass, stepping off a curb, walking up and down steps. Um, there's, it's, it's a very important part of vision. So the person who has strabismus, because both eyes aren't aiming at the same place, they're missing out on the rich, meaningful aspects of binocular vision. People focus on um, the, the cosmetic appearance of the person, which does cause a lot of self-esteem issues and, and can be really quite a big thing for a person with strabismus. But I want people to focus more on the fact that it's a vision problem and how is that affecting the person's vision and how is that affecting their life and so that means that parents need to consider the importance of, of binocular vision for their kid and they have to understand that maybe surgery is really just cosmetic surgery and that really t choosing surgery has a lot to do with just only caring about the person's appearance and I, so I want people to actually, it's that, it's that same thing about putting, some, putting yourself in another person's shoes. You know, if you're only focusing on the fact that their, their eye is turned and that makes you uncomfortable looking at them, <laughs> you're not even considering how, how is that person seeing and is it possible to actually give them better vision and a better life with better vision.